This is the unsolved disappearance of Melinda Boyd. The disappearance of Melinda still remains an unsolved mystery. Over a hundred years ago, oral history has been told by the elder. Is that Melinda Borden was an unlisted passenger above the Titanic. She was traveling as a personal caregiver and with an independent European contractor. Of course, we must listen to the elders. Just listening to the elders lets you take a journey through their minds. And it's like walking through a library because they have ancestors' knowledge, because they have old, untold stories. Okay, what we have here is Maurice. Maurice is at this store. He says he's buying this car to surprise Kimmy for her birthday, y'all. Or for the barbecue, whatever they having out there. But anyway, let's listen to Maurice, y'all. <laughs> Man, how's it going? So he's in the store, he's talking to the guy. Now listen, y'all. This is Love and Mary Transville, season six, episode 21. There, there, smoke, bears. Ah. But anyhow, Maurice is inside talking to this man about the car, but the car is so manly, I can't believe that this is for uh, his wife. Because he's talking about the rims, he's talking about the big old tires that he want on there. Everything Maurice want on this car seems like a, it's a man's ideal, but let's keep it going. Say, well, what you got going? You got it. How we looking? <laughs> looking ready. I'll tell you what, give me a second. I'm going to go pull it out for you. All right, cool, cool, cool. I'm here. Hey, this is the Titanic. We fix credit. Credit one. And over here is the building. Credit one, you guys. Yeah, Credit One. This is Black Titanic. I want to know, Maurice, where do you work at? When do you work? We don't know anything about what you do right here at. What is this, y'all? At Credit One. What do you do at Credit One, and when do you work, Maurice? Yeah. Now, you should be able to get a lot of business, Maurice. Maurice is in the... Look at this busy uh, place, you guys. Yeah. This parking lot be empty. This is called University Drive. This is where uh, we fix credit. Credit One USA. Maurice, tell us what you do. What kind of lawyer are you? When do you go to work and when will we see it? But I noticed on this window, you guys, let me go up here. This used to be where Credit One, his, his office window, they got a big old sign up here say, Herbology. They got a big old sign right there. Y'all can see say Herbology. And uh, so they, maybe they trying to uh, hide or whatever. But uh, you, well, anyway, this is more than one office space. I'm just showing y'all what this look like. This is the door you go in. And credit one. Anyway, this is La Titanic reporting to you from uh, We Fix Credit. Credit one USA dot com. We Fix Credit. We still want to know when you go to work, Marie. Hit that like button, share, and subscribe. This is Black Titanic. Credit One is located off of University Drive, and that is the busiest street in Huntsville. It's like a freeway. Yet, yeah, you don't even have no clients. Let's keep it going, y'all. There she go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I bought Kimmy a new Jeep because last couple of years. Pierce, who asked, asked for a Jeep? Do y'all remember when... Uh, do y'all remember when Tisha first she needed some furniture from her husband? Then she turned around and told her husband that she wanted a Jeep. 
Now, I'm going to fast forward this because I, I might not get to that part, but do y'all remember when the Jeep finally arrived at the place, at the barbecue, that uh, Kimmy's best friend ran to the car with Joy. Kimmy was joyful and the young lady was joyful, but you didn't see Tisha. You didn't see Tisha at all running to that car to greet this woman uh, I'll congratulate this woman for her for that G. This girl, uh, Tisha, got a jealousy problem, and she was jealous that day when that G pulled up. Whether he's rented, buying it, who knows about the Scots? She's been asking for one, and I've kind of been trying to sell her on some other vehicles, some that I think are a little bit more luxurious. However, we don't have a well, how are you going to pay for it, Maurice? Oh, where do you work? That's what I want to know. Credit one, what do you do? We never see you working, Maurice. How are you going to pay for this Jeep? A whole bunch of time. And I think I found that out recently. Uh, Kimmy going through all of what she's gone through. I want her to be happy. I know I want the, like, the bigger, fatter mud tires. Huh? Yeah, I hear that. What woman want to some big old tires and big old rims on that car? I don't. He seems like that's what he wants. I've never seen a woman ride down the road with those big, big monster rims on their tires, big, big monster tires. This is what this man wants. He fixing this car up for himself, y'all. Oh, how tall you want to go? I want it to be, you know, stout. This is the big dog. Yeah, we can, uh, we can, we can. I want to be stopped. This is the big dog. You talking about a woman supposedly with cancer. You talking about a woman that feels weak a lot after uh, she had these cancer treatment. She don't need a big old car that she got a struggle to get into with her big old tires lifting it up where you need a ladder to get in the car. Little kid. What's up, Solo? What's going on, big dog? It's our big right here. What's up, too? What you got? Now he calls his brother down there. And what's that around his waist, y'all? Maurice, Lord have mercy, they so out of shape. He look like he just pregnant over there. <laughs> Maurice look like he pregnant. Oh, God, he got that thing. He claimed he did um, He threw his back out. But we know it went from work. It went from working. His back probably hurt because he don't do no work. He don't walk. He don't exercise. That's why your back hurt, Maurice. Let me tell you. Going on. Oh, man, I hurt my back lifting weights. Dang. And then uh, I y'all know, I watched this before. I know he said lifting weights. Maurice, he trying to make us feel like he is a muscle man now. Like he's working out. Who know it? Yeah, but where this all day hug? Yeah, you just you can adjust it too. Hey, this oh, kid's yeah. ours, man. Ooh, ooh. Hey, I need That's some Rubicon. This got everything. Man, I really like this Jeep. And yep, yeah, I'm sure y'all do. I'm sure y'all do. Y'all just driving to another state in that other little bit of little car y'all was in. Who car was that? Y'all be renting these cars and then try to make us feel like y'all buying these cars. Quick, Fred. Ride with the top down so my hair can blow in the wind. I'm like, mm, baby, kind of don't have that much hair right now. <laughs> now, you know that was rude and disrespectful. He on the national platform talking about his wife with, with, with chemo that possibly the chemotherapy and took her hair out. But Maurice, you don't have no hair neither. So how is that a joke on your on your wife when you stand up there bald head and looking like Uncle Festus? But uh look like looks like he had a little bit of compassion for her. His his brother to uh said don't say that. My son say don't say that. He really didn't like Maurice joking about her bald head. This is real talk. So I'm like, as her hair is growing back, I'm like, now's the perfect time to get her a Jeep. Yeah. I think that. Oh, you gonna get her a Jeep because her hair is growing back. Oh, God, he's so immature. Look at how bald head that you are, and you're going to go talk about your wife. Part of, man, and this is some other stuff that I haven't even talked to you about. Um, Like, our sex life hasn't been the same, bro. 
Oh, God. Y'all, this man get a check. He get a free check talking about this mess. Every season, that's all he talks about. When will we know anything about Maurice? We don't even know anything about you, Maurice. Nothing about you. You need to take a lie detector test for us to see if you really got a job. We don't know nothing about you. But you want us to concentrate on your sex life. Who cares? Coming up on Love and Marriage Huntsville. You know you were being smart at times, right? I'm intelligent. No. You were being snarky. So you're just indifferent. Yeah. Yeah. My soul. Y'all know what? My so say he intelligent. He want everybody to think he intelligent. We know you think you're the smartest person on earth, my soul. Yet you can't even uh, provide a stable place for your family to stay. Them little bitty bedroom, y'all got the little two bedroom kitchenette, and you can't even uh uh finish that. You can't even finish working on your little two bedroom uh kitchenette. When it comes to them, They're completely indifferent. I'm, I am going to treat them as if it was last year when I did not know they existed. Mm-hmm. Where are you coming? No, no, who dropped me off? Oh, yes. Go, Maurice. Maurice, where you work at, Maurice? Where do you work at? And another thing I know like about Maurice is when he said Kimmy didn't have that long, what are you expecting his wife to die? That just, uh, when he said Kimmy didn't have that, that long, I didn't like that. But anyway, oh, this is Maurice. Where do you work at, Maurice? Who's taking care of you, Maurice? Whose house is it? Whose house you're in? It's yours now, I guess, because your wife done gave it to you. But where do you work at, Maurice? What kind of job you do? Hey, this is Black Titanic. We fix credit. Credit one. And over here is the building. Credit one, you guys. Yeah, credit one. This is Black Titanic. I want to know, Maurice, where do you work at? When do you work? We don't know anything about what you do right here at. What is this, y'all? at credit one what do you do at credit one and when do you work Maurice? yeah now you should be able to get a lot of business Maurice. Maurice is in the look at this busy uh place you guys yeah this parking lot be empty this is called university drive this is where uh we fix credit credit one usa Maurice, tell us what you do what kind of lawyer are you when do you go to work and when will we see it? But I noticed on this window, you guys, we go up here. This used to be where Credit One, his his office window, they got a big old sign up here say Herbology. They got a big old sign right there, y'all can see say Herbology and uh so they, you, maybe they trying to uh, hide or whatever. But uh, you, well, anyway, this is more than one office space. I'm just showing y'all what this look like. This is the door you go in. And credit one. Anyway, this is like Titanic recording to you from uh, Reef Fix Credit. Credit one USA dot. Huh. We get credit. We still want to know when you go to work, Marie. Hit that like button, share, and subscribe. This is Black Todd Anyway, we fix credit at Credit One. Is Maurice? He's standing up there talking to his brother, trying to buy a car. Where you you get your money to buy your car from, or this Jeep from, Maurice? Maurice, and then you started talking about how you buying a Jeep for Kimmy. You naming all these things extras that you want on this car. 
Yet nobody never seen Maurice work. No, we have never seen Maurice at work. We don't even know where he work or what he do. But anyway, uh, I, I I just put this car up there because how are you gonna pay for this car if you don't ever work? You, you can see the parking lot is empty at his place where we say we fix credit and the car that you do see. It belongs to the other people in the other business and the other office space, but your office space right there is empty. How are you going to pay for this car? Good answer, you guys. Where do you work? Where do you work and when do you work and how are you going to be paying for all these expensive cars that you name? You naming cars that cost more than, than a home. Where do you work, Maurice? When do you work? So this is Oma. I'm at Credit One USA. We want to know when Maurice go to work. You guys, <laughs> is it Black Tie Teddy out here at Credit One USA? Maurice, when do you go to work, Maurice? That's what we want to know. What do you do?